All right, I'm in spare time of Northampton once again. I'm going to be doing some drills for position and uh, again getting my, my uh, projection going one more time. It's kind of what my sticking point is right now. Uh, but I'm going to take some videos of my uh, typical shot and how that looks and break it down and maybe you get something from it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so another practice review. Um, after a little bit of technical problems, I'm going to try to get this one done. I'm feeling a little brain dead, but that's all right. Um, I'll be focusing on posture and projection. Projection, you know, has been my big thing lately. Uh, but also, uh, I wanted to focus on how I throw the ball and particularly like focusing on posture and stuff like that. See, that's kind of like my first throw that I uh, did, you know, um, just to get a baseline of it and then made a couple corrections uh, with this next shot. So after this shot finish, I'm going to show a lot of the key differences um, that go out. But again, you know, I, I just I always say this to the better bowlers who when they bowl, they always look so disappointed. And I think this is the funnest sport in the world. So, you know, it's one thing to criticize yourself in a in a really constructive way, but a lot of these things are, are technique and it's not personal. It's not about you being good or bad or whatever. But anyways, so first things first with this first shot, um, something that I've been really trying to correct is just this sort of like hunched over starting position. Um, you can see between this shot and the next shot, I'm a, I'm a lot straighter in how I'm starting. And rather than sort of like staying here where I'm a little hunched over and I stay hunched over, you see it's it's kind of like very straight the whole time where, where my posture is. And there, there is kind of a benefit to this um, that it is very easy to control. There's not a lot of variation. There is something in the act of dipping into your shot see like that sort of movement of dipping into a shot where you you can kind of get a bit more of a downward um power generating movement uh, uh between that and you know ironically these two shots actually the second one was the worst shot it kind of went out a little bit further there you can kind of see in my follow through on this first shot you know st straight up um, on the right side of my head, um, that's sort of what I'm looking at there in that finishing position where um, after the ball is thrown, see, my, my arm is on the right side of my head. While on the second shot, you can see my finished position, see, it cuts across here. And this shot actually ended up going further right than I wanted to. And it's just one of those weird... Uh, sort of overcompensation things that you can pay attention to yourself if your arm position is going uh, a way that you don't want. And and oddly, even though the ball went out, you know, in the opposite direction of the arm movement, it's it's almost like your body is trying to overcompensate halfway through the throw. Sometimes I'll, I'll have a throw where it'll cut across here. And I'm like, oh, I know I did something really wrong there. And, and, and so it's something to pay attention to. But um, you know, just, just two little things to notice as you're practicing. Um, the thing I want to point out that I, I really need to get on is, um, a little bit, uh, uh, further down in my, in my steps. You can see here, I have a, you know, an all right first step, second step starts outside, right? That's, that's sort of like been an issue where I'm sort of duck footing my steps. This third step, then I drag my foot. I don't get like a nice step there. Fourth step then is really quick. I have a little, like a little baby step there. And then even though my last step is, is you know, I'm actually sur pleasantly surprised how nice that slide is. It's still, it's still sort of like the lead up isn't good. And more than likely after looking at these videos, some in preparation of doing this, I'm definitely going to start um, um, trying to, get that foot turned into a better direction and get my steps a little bit more fluid. Um, the other thing I wanted to show here is kind of like the finishing place of the ball. And this is, this is really, you know, in bowling, you see guys online who have totally bizarre and weird uh, uh, starting movements. Uh, up here in, in Massachusetts area, there's a guy, Lickstein, who, uh, or Lickstein, I, I've never met the guy, but supposedly he's a really good dude. But he has some of the weirdest 
uh, approach movements that that you can find. But when you hit here, it's that's that's this is the money. This is all that counts. And again, you know, on this first shot, which was a good shot, you can see as the slide start. Uh, I'm sorry, rather as the slide stops, kind of ball and slide finish at the same time, right? So that that's really like the most controlled aspect. And then in the second shot, you can see slide ends and the ball kind of is a little behind it, which probably led to it going out a little bit further as well. And then led to that overcompensation of pulling it out a little bit. So, you know, just everything moves together. That's sort of like the, the cool thing about bowling is uh, a lot of little mechanisms of the body all working together to, to get the ball forward. This next shot, uh, I kind of overthrew it. I wanted to throw it really fast because um, one thing I'm trying to work on is is being able to work the outside when the lanes break down and throw it in a, um, you know, over throw it so that it, it, it can power its way through a dry lane and, and it, it won't catch on. So that's something I'm working on. You can see here, like as opposed to that last shot where, um, you know, even though it wasn't the best one, kind of you can see uh, the ball finishes, a, you know, lower than the knee. Um, and, you know, as we're saying with this slide, with this shot, it finishes way high and um, and much, uh, much further out. It's to it's really not that in time with the with the slide. You know, even though they still hit at the same time, and I'm just powering it again. The arm comes over my head again, um, which is which is bad. Like this is not a good way to to maintain control or anything like that. But you know, just when you speed up the ball, it's going to be some things that you have to deal with. And then this last shot uh, from this angle, I wanted to slow things down a lot. Again, this is another really handy way to um, have to deal with a lane that is not optimal conditions. These lanes were New Year's Day, short weekend house pattern, and um, just they just weren't really uh, helpful. I was, I was really far to the left. I think I was probably on like 35 as I was throwing it with my left foot. Um, and... So I, I wanted to just slow it down. So you can see one of the first things I do is I lower the, the starting ball position. You know, I start about here and then I lower it down, right? So so that allows me to cut down my backswing by, by, the, by momentum, right? So I take a little bit shorter steps than even those short steps that I normally do. You can see the ball goes much, like it kind of doesn't have that same heave that I was doing in the other ones, much softer. See, we can see here that as opposed to the harder one, kind of like a much more forceful movement. This one is softer and then coming through the shot. Again, the same timing on the slide. I'm even, see, I'm, I'm pretty far back from the foul line there. Um, just again, cause the, the shortness of the steps. No, I'm, I'm not really one of those like finish at the line kind of guys, but you know, it, it's a little bit further back than it was before. Um, I had to move a little bit left. That's why my stopping position is, is further away than on the previous faster shot and again th th because of the slower shot it's for me at least it's it's a lot more under control so i i do have like that good um you know outside um on the right side of my head sort of finishing position so that that's really nice that does good um actually i really like throwing it slow it's just sometimes the ball will get out from from me when I'm when I'm throwing it like that, and it's just not the best. All right, so just this uh, shot from behind isn't exactly as, uh, you know, informative as as from the side I'd say, but I just wanted to highlight, you know, the the sort of in line, the really the really straight in line, not really, uh, uh, tur you know, you know, uh, arms, you know, your shoulders naturally have to sort of turn out when you're throwing a bowling ball. You're not like a, a pendulum, but trying to keep everything straight really keep those lines together, um, have that like really classic flip, you know, the, the, just the, the shaking hands with the pin at the end there and, you know, keep it smooth. Uh, one thing that I, I've worked on for really, really long, like I've been working on for months is maintaining my balance and my posture, uh, my, my finishing position at the end of a throw. And you can see here, even though like I probably could use more of a line here, as opposed to a line here, you know, but I, I think like that's just the shape of my body and how I am. And, uh, you know, again, same thing with my steps, just little things to work on to try to get myself a bit more uh, strict, a bit more uh, 
on a on a line that that has less room for error and stuff like that. And the last throw is is from sort of that classic three quarters turn. Um, again, just really wanted to focus on um, my shoulders and and my steps. Again, the the sort of like short sort of stoppy steps. Uh, again, that's without a doubt my number one thing I have to work on. Uh, probably I've been doing it since I was a kid, and so it's hard hardwired in there. But you know, I wanted to show again just the, the you know that that not trying to overthrow it that's something that i've i've you know pretty much been all right about i'm not a cranker um my ball just doesn't get a ton of rotation on it um and but you know it's it, it you can let the lane do the work now you can let the ball do the work but that's also why i'm trying to learn you know the difference between sort of working on um throwing a ball from both from here over to like about the 10 board, you know, c c taking up the entire lane, but also working with my left foot on the middle, hitting that that second arrow and going more up and in. That was something else I worked on a lot. Uh, new practice method I think I'm gonna start trying is doing one lane, one way and the other lane another way, but that's for another video. So anyways, uh, yeah, this was uh, this was really fun to do. Uh, I, I actually, I think things are kind of coming around. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how Many times I threw the ball correctly. I, I actually couldn't find a shot of me throwing the ball that wrong. So, um, so I hope that just means things are getting better. Maybe I just had a really good day uh, coming off like a nice tournament and stuff like that. But, anyways, hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Leave a leave a comment if you want, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone.